It's time for the rematch. Can a triathlete beat a cyclist in a time trial? And what I really mean is, can I beat Manon from GCN in a bike race? If you cast your mind back to early 2021, you might remember I challenged Manon to a bike race. Now, you could have thought I was out of my mind. I mean, she is a medal-winning international track cyclist. However, I had a trump card up my sleeve, the triathlon bike. Well, after what turned out to be a very close race, it was Manon who took the victory. And ever since then, I've been scheming on how I could possibly beat her. And I have gone as far as including running in some of our battles. But I think it's time to revisit the pure and simple versus. So here we go again. Well, as you can see, we've had a bit of a change of venue. We're not on the track. We're heading out onto the road. So with that in mind, Manon, I probably should show you the route. I yeah, can't that be a good idea. Yeah. Um, and have a bit of a warm up. So yeah, let's do it. We start. <laughs> All right, well, we should probably start with the obvious question. Manon, I'm dreading to know how fit you are. I've seen that you've done a, a 200K epic ride recently, or race even. So yeah, so uh, I did that uh, gravel race. I mean, it was nine hours of slogging along. It's so probably not the best preparation for this, but I don't know. I definitely feel unfit, a lot unfitter than the last time we did this, which was quite a while ago now, and I was riding quite a lot then. Um, but yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea, like, a power number that I would aim for today. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, I mean, that does fill, fill me with some reassurance because we are more than a year on. Like we said, we do a re revisit this in a year and I mean we're like what a year and a bit and that's mainly for my fault because I keep putting it off going oh at some point I'll get fit on the bike and, <laughs> and, I, and I just never do so I've gone well we've got to do it before winter arrives oh yeah I'm not doing this in winter <laughs> what about you what's your fitness like on the bike these days um, well this is this is the main problem because I basically kept putting this off and we're like we need to do revisit to prove that a triathlete with all with all the gear can actually be to cyclist <laughs> and I feel like I have you know, all of our GTM viewers to, to prove that we can do it. And, I'm, and I've done no cycling this summer. I've basically been a swim runner and I know I am a triathlete, but the cycling aspect has just been forgotten. And yeah, our viewers might see me riding a bike, but that's the only time I do is for a video. So I'm really quite worried about this. And, and I just hope that it will be a different scenario to, to last time. But yeah, I'm... I'm not confident either, but it's great that maybe we are on the same level as before, so it will be yeah, a very, relatively fair very test. unknown, but what about the course? Obviously, we're not on a race circuit, but yeah. what have we got? So I was kind of debating originally. I thought, right, well, if I go longer, you know, I'm good at endurance. That will give me a, a bit of uh, advantage over you, Manon. And then I saw you did your 200k, so I was like, <laughs> great. That's probably not... I don't want to get too short because you are a sprinter. So basically, yeah, it's a different route, but it's a 10k loop. Um, and... Yeah, so kind of keeping it the same. I might have a few little tweaks that I'm making to try to get that added advantage that I need. Oh, okay. You have to and see for those. <laughs> All right. Know the course? Should we just get on with it? Yeah, I just need a couple of minutes to just make a few tweaks, if you don't mind waiting. Okay, you just like taking your gel off yeah, or something? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll wait by here. Okay, cool. So <laughs> So just a quick um, little change of wheel. Um, as I alluded to, I need all the help I can get. And last time Ollie made lots of suggestions and I didn't necessarily take them all on board because I thought that just this bike alone would be enough to beat man on. Turned out it wasn't. I have less fitness, so I'm really having to make as many tweaks as I can and um, might have borrowed a disc wheel from Mark. Okay, I'm not stopping at just the disc wheel. Every little aero gain possible I'm after, um, I have taken that advice from Ollie Bridgewood, um, and I've taken most things from Mark's bike, to be perfectly honest, including this aero bottle cage and aero bottle. So remove mine, remove my normal bottle, and just, yeah, finishing touches. I think for 10K, one bottle's gonna be enough. Um, let's see if these gains are enough. This is what Ollie suggested. We don't have 
an aero suit. I'm not a time trialist, so a tri suit is the next best thing. And this is a pretty aero looking thing. Um, it's got to be better than a winter jacket or the gilet that I wore last time. And I've even gone as far as, yes, I have still got normal socks on, but I'm sorry, there's got to be some level of comfort. But yeah, some little aero overshoes, which might come in handy today because it's now started raining, so they're going to keep my feet dry as well. Double bonus. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought you were just going to take your gilet off. <laughs> well, full, I mean, you're taking change. your camera off. I mean, the, yeah, I... I'm sorry you've, for keeping you waiting. You've gone all out. I okay. have gone all out. Even aero bottle. Even well spotted, yes, the aero bottle. Shoe covers, which right now in this weather are going to be coming yeah. in. And I'm quite liking the aero helmet because it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, fair play. I don't feel that prepared anymore. Well, Manon, I mean, take it as a compliment that I feel I need to do everything and I'm hoping it's enough. Okay, well, Manon's ready. Quick reminder, Manon, last time you beat me by 10 seconds. It's a slightly shorter course. You were 1908, I was 1918. So yeah, let's see if the tables can turn. You ready? Oh gosh, I think so. All right, I'm coming a minute after you. So three, two, one, go. Good luck. Ah. <laughs> And we're off. We need to be arrow. We need to remember that. Okay, 58, 59, go. I'll be honest, I have no idea what kind of power I want to do. I'm currently at 300 watts and, I mean, even if I was fit, I couldn't even hold 300 watts for 15 minutes. I do love the sound of a disc wheel. I sound fast, even if I'm not going fast. It's a good job I quite like heavy because I'm not riding in the rain. It's going really hard for anybody else right now. Oh. I think I might have gone off a tiny bit too fast. Got a bit excited and competitive. And now I'm back down to earth. Power's dropped quite a bit, but it's so hard to try and remember to stay aero when you're going this hard. But I, can, I just know the Heather's tucked down in a TT position, sliding through the air. Ooh. I mean, for all I know, Heather could come zooming past me any second. I was hoping I might be able to see Manon by now. But no luck. I'm that friend. Just a minute ahead of me. So I'm hoping one of these corners I might get a glimpse. No, I can see the brow and I can't see her. It doesn't bode well. Head down. All I can do is keep working and hope she tires. For the track, I'm sat there. Come on in. I'm not going to look up and keep my head down. I think that's Manon. I think she's died. She looks like she's in the hurt locker. I think I'm actually going to overtake her. Now I feel a bit bad. I'm just gonna say sorry. Uh, she's done it! I'm getting beaten by a trap, please! Oh, to me, but I'm here. oh god, she's flying. Wow, 
I didn't think that was gonna happen. Oh, there she is. I mean, science has proven it can win. My word, she came past me like a rocket. Good job, girl. I know, at that point I felt a lot of guilt for all of these aero games. I was, I was going so I could taste blood in my mouth and you came past me like you weren't even trying. Oh my God. I would say we could swap, but not today. Maybe another time. <laughs> <sighs> Well, Manon, massive effort. Thank you. I mean, obviously, you guys watching know the results, the fact that, yes, I won. But I think we should dig into a little bit more. Firstly, like, how was that? Did you look like you gave it everything? Oh, I did. You know, and you can, like, taste blood in your mouth and, like, That's my lungs awesome. was hurting. Um, and it was raining, which was a bit... A yeah. little bit rubbish, but um, no, I definitely went very deep. Yeah. That's, that's cool. I mean, it does. I'm kind of pleased in a way that it shows that science um, does actually work. And, you know, aero gains, you can, in a sense, buy, buy yeah, a win yeah. <laughs> to a certain extent. And, you know, relevant of my legs. But um, quickly, so for numbers. So I came in at 18.53 for my overall time. And I was 20.17. Okay, so one minute 23 quicker, I think. Um, and power-wise, this is the interesting part. What was your power? Uh, so my power was 217 watts. Okay, right. Well, I was 209, so you're still stronger than me. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, that's eight, eight watts, eight watts difference. So the rest is all purely down to the aero game. It is, yeah, and I averaged 33.7 kilometers per hour. Okay, yes, what was I? Yeah, so I was 36.2. I can't remember what actually I was last time. Maybe we should look back at uh, that one. But how was your power compared to last time? Do you think that was similar? I can't remember what my power was last time. I think it was quite a bit more yeah. um, because I was quite a bit fitter. But um, I mean, I'm quite happy with that for where I am at the minute. No, but, well, I was yeah, too. Yeah. I mean, I just, yeah, massive thank you to you. I'm kind of just, I have more relief because I was thinking whilst I was riding there and I couldn't see you for ages, like at all. And, you know, it was quite a few points when I had like a, a long vantage point. And I was just like, well, if Manon beats me now, I, there's nothing more <laughs> I can do. And I feel like, A, I'm letting down all of the tech geeks and Ollie. And Ollie people, Bridgewood. Yeah, <laughs> being like disappointed because there's not really much else I can do to my bike um, or to me. Um, and then I was also thinking I was letting down all the triathletes out there because I'm like, I am being beaten again by a cyclist on a road bike. And I know that's massive kudos to you because you're <laughs> incredibly strong. But yeah, I would say not for my ego, but just for relief for, for, for those you did. So, you came past me so quick as well. Yeah. But and that's not me. That's not my legs. That's I'm, I'm literally putting that down to the. I kit, mean, so. you look pretty quick, so I think well, it was the legs as well. No, I'm, I'm not sure about that, but well, thank you anyway. But um, yeah, just a massive thank you for your no time and effort and coming out in the rain, man. Well, right? well, Heather, I'm, I'm going to have to find a way to beat you now on a road bike. I so I do feel slightly bad. I've had there's to go another to challenge so coming. Yeah, so many extremes. I've dragged you into running. I've made you ride again. Now you're me. a minute quicker. Mm, I'm going to have to sort that out. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll pass that one for now. We'll tend to, let's ignore that fact. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Remember, give us a like and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. And you can check out some GCN videos if you really want. Yeah, come over to our channel as well. <laughs>